Hello, if you've been watching my channel lately you'll know that we've been harvesting early potatoes from these 10 inch pots um, and that now means we've got some spare compost. This is a mix of seaweed and leaves that I've been growing in. You probably uh, may have seen the reveal from the pot. Growing potatoes gin just um, a mix of chopped seaweed and leaves and this pot's just got some composting, homemade compost that um, it's probably a mix of um, spent compost, soil from molehills, there may be a little bit of this stuff in there somewhere uh, and anything else I could lay my hands on. Um, I'm going to bring this stuff up a bit closer, let you get a better look at it. Hi Mom. Okay, this is the sort of soil based compost that I'm using. These small lumps that you see, that's actually a clay soil. It'll break up, look. That's a clay soil uh, that's part of that mix. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to empty this mix into the barrow. Then we're going to empty the chopped seaweed and leaves into the butter and uh, mix it all up and we'll go 50-50 on that mix and then we're going to uh, sow some more potatoes we're going to try and get a second crop out of this compost I've already got um, leeks planted and celery in uh, compost that's grown potatoes already Now we're going to put some potatoes in these. Okay, let me just move this one off. And this is the uh, seaweed and leaves. I'm not too sure if you can tell the difference on camera, but that's seaweed and leaves. And that was only mixed um, in the autumn of last year, so this is, it isn't a year old yet, but as you can see, it's, it's well broken down. Uh, winter composting, it's, it's, it's the way, no smell, um, do it in your garden, do it on a, an empty raised bed, that's what I do anyway, okay, so I'll just put some of that in there and some of that in there, I don't know if you can tell the difference, anyway we're going to mix them all now. Take a look at these guys. This is this is in the um, seaweed and leaves. It's excellent food for worms. I mean, worms just love it. Let me see if you can see these guys. Hold on. Can you see those guys? I don't know whether you can or not. They're the worms that was in that. Uh, It's full, and as you know, worms are good. Worms are good in the garden. That chopped seaweed and leaves goes in the front end, and what comes out the back end is even better. So we want to keep these guys in this compost. Right, let's mix it up. And hopefully there'll be uh, no worms killed in the making of this video. Now we can't guarantee it, but we'll try not to uh, harm them. Right. Now then, what we're going to do is, we're only going to use a couple of inches of this in the bottom of these two pots. Uh, we're going to sow the potato on that couple of inches, and then we'll cover it again by another few inches, get us this pot half filled. Okay. That looks like a couple of inches to me. And that looks like a couple of inches. Okay, what we're we going to be sowing? What potatoes are we going to be putting in those pots today? Well, if you have a look at these guys, 
There's some potatoes that I had spare. And there's some shop bought and there's some um, seed potatoes. We've got shop bought a potato called Valle. Shop bought a potato called Cultra. And the old favourite seed potatoes, Winston. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a couple of these out, one in each pot, and we're going to sow one Valle and one Cultra. And the others will just have to wait their turn when a pot becomes available and some compost we'll get them in as well okay so we'll do this guy first and this is Vala okay and I believe Vala is a, a late potato so it's probably too big for these pots really but uh, when needs must they go in so that's Vala you can see it's well chitted up. We'll just sit that on that two inch there and we'll pop that ticket in so we don't get mixed up. And then we'll get this. Which one we're doing? This one here. That was. Oops. What was it? Valor. Yeah. And we're going to do one of these. This Cultra. Okay, I'll get this guy out. And there he is. And as you can see, I hope, Coulter's starting to throw some white roots down, look. So Coulter's ready to go. I'll just pop this to one side then. That's Coulter. That's Valo. How's that? Okay, so we'll sit this guy on the compost in that pot. And we'll sit this guy on the compost in this pot. That ticket in there, we won't get mixed up. And so we don't damage um, any of the uh, sprouted chits on there, we'll cover this potato with this pot. So the potato is sitting in the bottom now. I'm just going to sit this on top of it like that and then cook, fill that with compost then jiggle this out. Sit that there. Pop that there. That's the pot half filled. Small pots in there upside down somewhere. We we'll get it. Jiggle it out like that. There it is coming, look. And that's how potatoes covered now. Pots half filled. Okay. So we'll pop that ticket in there, then we know what we're doing. We'll sit that there. We'll do the same with this guy. Okay. There he is, if the camera's focusing. There's the pot sitting over him. Right, we just jiggle this pot out like this. How's that? Shake that in. Let's pop a little bit more in there, I think. And that's Valor. So, if you've got some spare pots and you've got some spare compost and you've got a few of these guys knocking about, want to put them in? Nothing to lose, have you? We're not going to eat these now, are we? Uh, so we either grow them or bin them. So let's grow them. Okay. Um, so I hope you've um, enjoyed this video. Uh, this is Homegrown Veg, signing out. <laughs>